Welcome to Flow Chair Radio, your one and only 30 minute or so weekly podcast where we talk about all things all star cheer and dance. I'm Lindsay Purry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Megan Motley. And I'm Jessica Baker. I saved that one for, the, for when we went live because yeah. I wanted your actual reaction. That was, that was cute. <laughs> that was really we were good. The place up. Yeah. I found this on a table five minutes ago. So. As you guys can see, my Halloween <laughs> costume is a cat. And everyone loved it. I'm a mouse, duh. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess is Jess. <laughs> okay, so what's going on, guys? Oh, wow. Gosh. Another Wednesday. Halloween. It's Halloween. Yeah. Happy yeah. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Again, this is my costume. <laughs> I know. I This year, guys, I love Halloween. Halloween's like one of my favorite things. <laughs> like and this me. year, me too. it snuck up on me. It really did. <laughs> and I was like, Dang it, I'm unprepared. <laughs> yeah. But well, some people were not unprepared yeah. yesterday. So we had a Halloween party yesterday. and Company-wide. The Flow Squad went all out. Let's okay. see, I have a picture. They oh, were yeah. trophies of different so verticals awesome. in Flow Sports. So we have cheerleading and hockey and dance and gymnastics. And it was really yeah. cool. They I can't believe you guys awesome. didn't get first. I, you know I what? really can't. Yeah. I know. I personally demand oh my a rebel. <laughs> I mean, if you can't really they, see them, They're sure, completely we dressed in gold. Like, they painted bodies. themselves gold. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was really, really like, awesome. That is above and beyond Halloween costume edge right there. For sure. I don't yeah. know if that's a word, but. And you know what? Like, I Amazon, best thing I bet. You got all this stuff from Amazon, yes. right? Yes. Really That's the best amazing. thing that has ever happened to Halloween. <laughs> and last minute, three days costumes. Right, because like two days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two day shipping. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, That's I fun. I wonder what like other, I know a lot of teams and stuff dress up for Halloween and they do Halloween theme practices. I saw so many posts that were um, the kids dressed up as the coaches. Oh, oh my and gosh. It's I so love that. so funny. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's really cute. And then, um, yeah, I just, I love Halloween. Well, it's so cute. We have, oh, I, actually, never mind. I'm going to save that for later. <laughs> what? <laughs> never mind. Do yeah, no, that's my segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got very excited. Don't steal my segment. I got very excited. Okay, so what um, else do we have besides that? <laughs> the Flow Cheer Showcase Tour yes. has continued, and last weekend, um, we were at Cheer Athletics. Yep. Blue and debut. Blue debut and the Champion Cheer Gold Gala. And Ice All-Stars Polar Premiere. What an incredible weekend. That was, like, that was a very, very jam-packed, draining, but rewarding Busy. weekend. Like, I had the best time yeah. at every showcase. They're so, so yeah, they're so fun. got a lot out of them, too. I know. We just, we, That's we just cool. really, we did it. We did the thing. Yeah. So <laughs> let's, let's kick off with Cheer Athletics Blue, Blue Debut. Okay. Tell me all of the deets. Oh gosh. Okay. So first things first, before the sun even came up there, the, the gym, I went to the gym before we went to the venue because a lot of the teams were warming up in the gym. Yep. Before the sun came up there were, it was packed in there and there was so much energy and it was so cool to just walk in and everyone was like, good morning, are you ready for the blue debut? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little tired, but I haven't had my coffee yet. But That's awesome. Um, no, but it was really cool. And um, just seeing all the teams there from all the three locations, Frisco, Austin, and Plano, it was um, just really, really fun to see every single team together, like from mini prep tiny teams yeah. that went in the beginning like the show kittens and all the cute little teams the yeah they were so cute and then you know the the level five teams and then they went back down to like levels two three and four so it was really really cool to just see like the mix of the teams and not go you know straight one through five yeah so um there was a lot of excitement throughout the day yeah for sure yeah the and all the teams energy. did amazing it was tons Everybody's of energy very friendly yes oh i love oh, i love everyone at that at that gym they're so much fun and then um Let's see what else happened. Um, I mean, everyone was just saying it was like the best showcase they've ever had. All the teams looked so prepared for October, which is so impressive. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can dive into. I know you guys oh have my notes gosh. right here, yeah. so you can dive so into it. So for me, um, <laughs> it was really funny. So my mom came in town, and she was like helping me do like chores around the house and whatever, and like. 
Um, so she was working <laughs> on something and <laughs> I was like sitting on my phone and she's like, what are you doing? Come help me. And I was like, mom, one second, I'm watching Panthers. <laughs> she's like, like so real awesome. story. And um, oh my gosh, yeah. the Purdue Up Hand in Hand yep. that they do this year. Yep. Mind, Mind blown. blowing. I, watched the, I know the boys best that part. can't base that. Exactly. It and it's so impressive. The best part for me, though, is the fact that it, like, in their music, it's like, this is the baptism, and then that part goes. It's like, <gasps> literal, chills. Yeah, literal chills. They, it is so cool. Yeah. They, and I just and love, I love the, the routine composition this year. I think it's really cool. I love how they do the, um, they do like a seat roll. Cause you know how last year they just did um, handspring fools. Yeah. So this year they do like a little like seat roll transition straight into that, which is really cute. And it kind of like adds on to what they did last year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, they came out so fierce, so ready, like I'm world champs. That people are doing more partner stuff. Like oh, they're, yeah. they're showcasing mm -hmm. and highlighting it. I feel like it's something we're seeing a yeah. lot more of. And well, champion, I mean, we'll go to champion racing. cheer later, but he also did one. Really? They did like a quarter up lid, which was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I really so like that too. It's more, really cool. More of it, people. Yes. I know. Give us it's, more. It's really fun to see, um, you know, how people are taking this idea of, you know, this one base stunting mm -hmm. and like really bringing it to all girl. Yeah. And it's like. And all star, like yeah. in general. That's true. You know? yeah. No, that's very true. You see it a lot in high school. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I just love it. And I think Panthers looked really good. I they think their tumbling awesome. looked awesome. The yeah. seeing that routine put to that music was yeah. really. It just brought like a whole new level to, yeah. to both of it. Yeah. yeah. It was really, really cool. Their so. Sequence looks, is, is hard. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I know. And what did you call the one where they grab? Oh, I didn't name it, oh. but someone else, I think it was Kai, yeah. said, called it a rotisserie chicken. chicken. Wow. So I think we need to come up with a different name for it. I don't know if Brad and them have a name for it. So maybe we can like come yeah. up with a name. I think rotisserie chicken that might stick fun. though. It is had, funny. It it's funny. funny. It's yeah, it was really cool. But you know what's really funny? So I've noticed that yeah. that inversion holding the ankles yes. is like yes. going to be really long. popular this yeah, year. Yeah, because we saw it at Anaconda with yep. Anacondas and a couple other teams did it at the Blue debut. Yep. So, and I said it yeah. wasn't going to be a thing. When it when it happened, I go, Man, yep. I don't know if anybody's going to pick up on that. But, that's, <laughs> but it's it's really <laughs> impressive when you think about an inversion and you're holding your ankles and then yeah. you have to like pull all the way underneath like it that. Very that very adds impressive. another element. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, your body does not yeah. normally go in that direction. <laughs> I know. And to spin very twice right? with, while holding it like they do in the routine it's is just really fun. Unreal. And it's a nice visual. It's really yeah, different. it's really cute. Um, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, I do too. It's because, uh, you know, all the time we start seeing these same skills. So it's really fun to see um, the trends and yeah. kind of how they continue to innovate and like yep. who. The split, the, one of the stunts has that split inversion. Mm -hmm. That one I thought was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Was something I had never seen before. Yeah, it was really cute. I, think I that like that one. Panthers. That one was really um, cool. I'm trying to think. Cheetahs yeah. looked incredible. They were the first um, world team to come out. Okay. And so it was so, like, first of all, <laughs> Brad gave an incredible speech backstage. We like we put it on the site because it was so like if that doesn't get you pumped up, then you probably don't have a like a heartbeat. <laughs> you're not breathing. Yeah. <laughs> because the, he was just it was so like yeah. he was like set the roof on fire. Like yeah. show them why you're here. It was just oh my god, it was he awesome. Be famous for his his thoughts. speeches. Yeah, it was he's really really he's, good. He's yeah, more hyped than the kids. Yeah, but <laughs> cheetahs like they came out with this. Um, it was. I, I don't even know how to explain it. They just kind of had like this aura about them, mm -hmm. like we're you know undefeated yeah. the entire season, reigning world yeah. champions. Like here we go, see next season. Like here we are, mm -hmm. cheetahs. It was it was really cool. They just had so much energy on the mat, and it was like yeah, like they didn't really go in with with pressure. They more were having fun and just like really excited and ready to show the world what they've been working on. I love that this year they're in incorporating more co-ed stunts. Oh yeah. So they did sure. those co-ed ball up stretches, yeah. which looked really great. They had and pull ups and yeah. some, um, you know, just tossed cupies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And that was that was nice to see because I feel like that was the one element last year that I was that we were missing. Yeah. That yeah. I was really like hoping to see more right, of. Right. Because you so, know you have like Steel and yes. Co-ed Elite and all those teams that do a lot of co-ed stunting. Yep. So yeah, it was. I, I completely agree. Yeah. So that was nice to see that. And then of course we have to talk about that kick full kick full basket. Oh, before we were going to talk about that, I was going to talk about the worm that they oh, do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. so cool. So uh, I was watching from like the top of the steps. So I got a really awesome like shot of the visual when they did the worm. And I was like, that is so creative. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so random, but it is Lady also Lightning really, did the really, worm last year. Yeah. But they literally did like a 
<laughs> were. I'm like, they were all connected. Oh, they were? Yes. yes. Why did I, I, I okay, They were all disclosure. connected. They were holding on to people's feet and they like did like, like, you know how you like do that thing, like that dance yes. It was like, that's how cheetahs looked like the, across okay, the entire so mat. What, whenever <laughs> I first see a routine, like, I can't help it, but I like zero in on things and yeah. then I end up watching these elements and I feel like you need to watch there's it again. so many things that happen in that routine that yep. like, I don't think I've fully absorbed all of the things because yeah, no. I've only watched it once. You need to rewatch it because okay. the warm part is so cool. Oh my gosh. That's really awesome. Yes. But the kick full, kick full is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Super and well executed was, too. Oh, it was per- like, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, but nobody saw it coming. Oh, right. So it was yeah. so cool that everyone was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's such a visual basket that, and like you don't see it a lot. So many times. Yeah. yeah. You don't see it quite as much. So so when you do see it, it is very striking. And then, you know, if if not done properly, it's not. You lose. <laughs> it loses. It's oh, like <laughs> finesse. Yes. So, yeah, it was it was so, so nice. It was really high. Because yeah. a lot of times when you see a kick full, kick full, it yeah. looks like they're like rushing, rushing to get through the skills. And this one, no. it was perfect. It was like, bing, he bing, had He could have kick fold three times. At first, he spun so fast that we thought it was a kick double. <laughs> like, oh. kick oh. double, kick full. And we were like, oh, maybe they're just doing that for the showcase because obviously that's not right. legal. But then right. we, like, slowed it down. And we were like, oh, no, he only spun once. <laughs> just really beautiful. It was, it was that yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, I mean, there's so much more to talk about. Of course, Itty Bitty Kitty. Oh, my gosh. They're so Cute. Oh my Favorite gosh, sharp and sassy. I mean, just they living up were to their name. So cute. Tiny paws, sharp claws. Yeah, they They're were. Perfect. They were awesome. You know, another team that was really, really good. Kitty cats. So, so clean. They had so much energy. Their dance was like spectacular they all are just like these mini little beyonce's when they're dancing they were oh, so I so cute are they level one yeah too? Mm-hmm. yeah they were so so cute the kitty cats it's really fun yeah. and and you know with cheer athletics this year they've they're all went away from the bows and yeah. so they all have the different you know hairstyles what? and um, stuff so that was really a lot cool. of people were talking about that and i mean pretty much everyone agrees that We loved it. We loved the no bows. It really, it was, it gave us like, it should, oh my gosh, I can't talk. It allowed (laughs) us to really focus in on the athleticism of the kids and exactly exactly what they are doing. But it does make a big impact. Yeah. And so when you weren't focusing on, oh my gosh, that girl's hair is so big or, you know, anything that goes along with the hair, you can enjoy the actual routine itself more. And it was really, I, I loved it. And I loved how everyone kind of had their own little spins on it. Like, um, you know, some teams had the cuffs, some teams had low ponytails, some teams had yeah. um, just scrunchies. Like, everyone just kind of still like did their, their own personality. thing. Yeah. And, but it just didn't have a bow. And I loved it. It was really cute. I'm really just all for anything that's, like, a little easier to do. Yeah. You know, like, well, yeah, time-wise. Exactly. You don't have to like wake up at 3 a.m. Well, to tease your, your ponytail. Yeah. You know, it's the worst when you get to and you forget your I bow. can French yeah. braid yeah. in like like five minutes flat. <laughs> per braid, right? So probably like, like ten minutes. Braid. But so. teasing a ponytail oh. hours. I, and even and the posh pony, I mean listen. like it's so heavy on your head. Like I just one time I had to brush out my <laughs> a teased pony. There's actually a I video remember. on the site. <laughs> I had Rock Your Hair do my pony, and they are like the teasing a, experts. It was, that's actually that awesome. could that last. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that could last for two days. Like Rock yeah. Your Hair products yeah. are like incredible, but yeah. um. Yeah. But I did he- heats red bows though. Oh I, yeah, I did yeah. love that. Yeah, let's let's go to Champion Tour yeah. Showcase. So. Oh my gosh. Gold Gala. <laughs> wow. First of all. So, I just have to start by saying Champion Cheer is like one of my favorite, favorite programs. programs. Absolutely. All yeah. The Yes, I love them. They are just like when you talk about a gym that is truly a family, this gym is truly a family. And um, people were pouring in with like blankets and and, um, socks and things. And come to find out, yeah, they were donating them. Come to find out, it was so that um, one of the dads could um, hand them out to homeless people around Dallas. So it was really cool. They they kind of like explained why that was happening um, at the beginning of the showcase. And then they were like, all right, let's go. And had an amazing showcase. That's so awesome. Um, 
So I know. That I love. Well, yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> heat really fast because. Oh my gosh, let's because talk about Because those heat. bows, like, yeah, the bows are really fun because they do the red bow. Yeah. And it really stands out and against the their black and gold. Their uniforms are just so cute with the skirts. I love, and I love it. Um, I love their skirts when they're doing their double downs. Yes, and it like. They have. It's not quite like a pleated skirt, but it it is like the mm -hmm. has. It's way more flowy at the bottom than yeah. most all-star skirts are. So it's like, yeah, it's very swishy and yeah. wonderful. I, I will say that, <laughs> so um, Lanza was with us yeah. and she saw them in the warm-up room and she was like, she was like, Lindsay, don't do anything but watch heat. You are going to be amazed. And I was like, okay. So I put my phone down. I, you know, didn't do anything but watch. And when I tell you after the first two eight counts I sat there with my mouth wide open watching this routine I I was so pleasantly like shocked and yeah, like, happy yeah. and excited like that that routine is a work of art and those girls are so talented and I could not believe that it was October yeah that yeah. they were putting this on the floor yeah. it was like Near perfect already. And, and so they're competing in the small senior open division this year, right? Yeah, small open, all yep. girl, yeah. Not so senior, open. Small. <laughs> small open, all girl. Oh my gosh. This, I'm, it's going to take me a while, yeah. A long time to like get these division names right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but they're, so they're in small open, all girl. And um, we were talking to Jennifer, and she was saying she's, you know, the coach, and she was really excited to be coaching them in the small all girl division again because yep. that's kind of where heat started mm -hmm. so she was like really really excited to a get them back to an all girl team and yeah. then b get them back into they went a co small last year. Yep. yeah medium co -ed. and yeah they were medium and so just to like bring them back to small where yeah. they like really thrived and all the girls were so excited to be back in a small division and they they literally just look like a group of sisters on the mat it was, they're so, so cool. They're top girls, I will say. Are, Beautiful. They're so strong. Yeah. yeah. I was watching their routine through, and like when you see athletic flyers, yeah. like, who have incredible body control, all yeah. of their lines. I yeah. know, are they, really good. Yeah. That was, that was something I was really impressed with. And speaking with. of lines, they're Jumps. center jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always impressed with her, even last year. Like, yeah, I mean. I know. It, it never gets old watching it's her jump. Always, like, love a good jump. There's, there, there's good hyperextended jumps, right? The, but, yeah. but some Hers people, are, they hyperextend and they move pretty fast. Yeah. Like, she gets up there and, like, you can truly appreciate how high her jumps yeah, are. It's like, almost like she's without slow motion. In the air yes. And, yeah, and it's so cool. But, you know, what's crazy, too, is. Um, we were someone took a picture and we were looking at all the jumps and like even the girls behind her yeah all have hyper extended jumps like yeah, their, jumps are, their awesome. jumps are just yeah incredible yes incredible. yeah squad wide for sure yeah it's almost like um the the front group of jumps are so good that like you almost don't realize how good the rest of <laughs> right. them are right because you're like holy moly but um, yeah. But yeah, like you said, they like squad wide, super strong. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so expect big things from them this season. Yeah. That's really exciting. And awesome. Thunder, they are um, the reigning champions in the restricted five, restricted co-ed five division from the summit. <laughs> <laughs> like <Choosing> yes, <laughs> um, and they first of all when when they announced them, they played that song Thunderstruck oh, or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god! The entire crowd was going crazy that's awesome like screaming thunder it was so cool and it was really exciting especially for them because you know they, they made it really special them being the reigning champions yeah. so to come out with that and they <laughs> blew me away too yeah they're, they're i mean that that whole gym itself is just gonna have an incredible season that's so awesome yeah, yeah. well and you guys live stream wasn't there like a special <gasps> yeah thing that did at the end? yes it really yeah it was really sweet so their um their theme this year it's like you know yeah, they're program wide. Their theme is "Be the Light," and um, they kind of they've adopted it like last year, but this year they're really like making sure yeah. that it's integrated in everything they do. And so um, there was a story about one of the moms, and she um, has been in need of a kidney. Yeah. And so um, they, you know, they made these like wristbands and everything. Um, it was like hashtag kidney for Kolb. Yeah. And it's hard to find a donor. It's very very hard to find. And, and yeah. you know, Hundreds of people, you know, got tested and nobody <laughs> was a match for her. So, she, you know, it was just very, very stressful. And, yeah, you don't get um, – you're waitlisted and then you don't really – until you're, like, pretty much on your deathbed is when yeah, they Yeah, when they really like, move okay. you up the list. Yeah, so um, it's just – it's been a really stressful time for that family. Yeah. And um, so what happened was um, someone saw 
one of the other moms wearing the kidney for cold bracelet and um, you know got more information about it and then she decided to go get tested doesn't didn't know who this mom is at all and went and got tested and found out that she was a match and um, the, the girl that is the donor is 18 years old, going on 19, had never That's met the mom before. And just she the reason that she went and got tested was because she was like, what if I could have been the person, but yeah. I never got tested? Like, what if I could have been the one to save her life? So um, it's just really, really special. And it goes to show that something as little as wearing yeah, like a bracelet. bracelet or the yeah. Do the or the yeah. Hashtag, just something so small yeah. can literally change someone's entire life. Yeah. So um, the announcement, nobody knew about it. Jennifer told us so that we could be ready. Um, and I still, I was literally like live streaming, but my head was down just crying because it was such a special moment. And um, nobody in the audience knew. So everyone found out like that during that and we you know we asked ahead of time if we could live stream it because we thought it was so special yeah. to share it with you know everyone yeah. so and they always say the cheer community is the most supportive community absolutely 100 so yeah. percent. totally believe that yeah it is such a a cool thing community. to be a part yeah. of of all-star cheerleading in general yeah. I, I think it's um just goes to show like the power of community and like you said those small gestures exactly. where it's like you know supporting somebody with the bracelet and doing what you can and what you're able to do is like so important even mm -hmm. if it feels like a small thing it yeah. could really it end could up being a big thing exactly yeah, yeah. so Champion it was is like the best program yeah leads i know best initiatives so. yes for sure all the time gyms out there gyms are like up and coming looking for ideas on things definitely to turn to champion yeah. and speaking of other really special moments um Tell us about their cheer abilities team. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was such a sweet moment. So they don't have a routine yet. Um, so, but they were like, you know, we want to come out and they wanted to show everyone a dance. So they went out last Aww. and um, they, you know, were started doing the dance. I forget what they danced to. Footloose. Aww. And so they had this dance and then um, every, every other um, team and all the coaches and stuff started going out and dancing with Aww. them and like on the mat dan doing the footloose dance with them which was really really cute and then the best part was that the the actual team was in the front yeah. like the whole time leading the dance so it was like a really really sweet way to end everything so they yeah. ended with that routine and that performance and then they went into the kidney for cold thing and it was just like Here's oh like my gosh <laughs> it was like I was so emotionally fun. drained after it was just so great. <laughs> that is so I awesome. Yeah. yeah. What a fun way to like kind of wrap up. It a was such really, a really, really good day. Yeah. Speaking of good day, there was way more things that were happening. Yes. Ice Polar premiere. Yes, we had the Polar premiere and that was at Purdue. Um, okay. So Lady Lightning looks yeah. incredible. Yes. Looks absolutely incredible. Yep. I'm sure you guys saw videos. Um, and Golden Girls are now in the, what, what division are Golden Girls in? <laughs> All of these moving. I want to say, um, are they? Parts? They're not restricted. They're extra small. They went extra small. Yeah. So they had a really, okay. really good debut in the new extra small division. Like so, now they're in the extra small division. Got it. So they looked incredible and I just I mean again they it was one of those where you know they didn't show full routines like yep. a couple times or they didn't have the dance or whatever but yeah. again it's showcase season right, so right you yeah it was really really good you know what I thought was <laughs> really cute tracks. too um, was when all the teams were like wishing their sister teams good luck yes. so um, Ice what wished diamonds good luck or SSX wished diamonds good diamonds. luck because they're sister teams. Oh my and gosh, then, there was like um, Lady, Lady Jags, Jags wished Smoex good luck because you know uh, oh, Cheer so Extreme cool. and Twist and Shout both had their showcases on yeah. Sunday as well. So th that was really yeah. a fun moment to see like all these teams like I don't know. I yeah. just I just love that and like the I love sportsmanship the whole sister team and like thing. it's really, yeah. really cute. And a lot of a lot of people are catching on to that, even more lower level teams too. Oh cute. Um, so good. yeah, it's I didn't I think that, I feel like that just start last year. I no, I mean it's been a yeah. thing, but Recently. I don't think it's really like been as big as it is. Like yeah. last year at Worlds when yeah. Diamonds gave SSX their surprise new uniforms. Do you remember that? No. Oh my god. Wait, do I do I remember that? <laughs> we we posted it. <laughs> I don't know. They I, yeah, listen. so they surprised um like after practices and stuff because they practice together as sister teams. Oh my gosh, I do and remember this now. And they surprised okay. yes. SSX yes. with the new uniforms yes. like okay. right before yes. finals. It I get really, this. really yes. cute. Yeah. yeah, no, but I know. And now I, before it was like a thing that like a couple people did and now it's like. A lot of people are doing yeah, it. Like um, 
Sci Five just asked, or Adam and Eve, Twist and Shout, Adam and Eve asked Sci Five to be their sister team. So that's cute because it's like the two new teams. That's really yeah. fun. That's fun. So. Yeah, um, love it. So there's lots of fun things coming up this weekend. Yeah. You're going to Prodigy All-Stars mm -hmm. and Woodlands Elite showcases. Yeah, I'm super, super excited to be in Houston this weekend. Yeah. You're awesome. I I'm very busy. I am <laughs> so jealous that you get to see Midnight. <laughs> yes. I really feel I'm like. I'm so excited. I don't know. I just have this weird gut They're, feeling about yeah. them, like seeing their majors video, like they looked really good. There's something um, brewing. Yeah. I don't know. They just. <laughs> I, like, it's I can't be explain good. it. It's going to be really good. And then, of course, Woodlands Lee. Yeah. Like, and did you see the new so uniforms yesterday? Oh, yeah. G.I. Janes and Recon got yeah. new uniforms. And they're so cute. So, so, so cute. So I'm really excited that they're going to like debut those yeah. at the showcase. Do they stick with their same colors? I don't think. No. <laughs> no. So Different. it's going to be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> For, it's Halloween, so we had oh. um, <laughs> a, Jessica hates monkeys, oh, and there's somebody in a full oh, gorilla cool. costume. Oh, giving us candy right now. Oh man, I really hate monkeys. For those people like who are but do you hate monkeys, monkeys that give you candy? Yep, still not. <laughs> still not. <laughs> 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 it's really a thing. It's petting her head. Jessica's freaking out. Um, oh, that was perfect. <laughs> I wish for all the people that are listening right now, do yourself a favor like and come and go watch it. this. I don't go by the monkey cages. We it's planned bad. that, Jess. Okay. Yeah, we did. We did. But you know what? I had to. I'm sorry. I have to go off on the little baby tangent. One time I was at the zoo and I saw a gigantic gorilla throw a pile of poo and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I am going, I keep a wide distance. Okay. Like there's the, there's the rail. Yeah. I don't walk up there. <laughs> Go ahead and eat the twister. Yeah, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat my Kit Kat. You deserve a treat after know, we right? scared you. Awful. <laughs> was You're it? lucky. I was well, like, I come in right when we're done talking about showcases. <laughs> 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 you guys are lucky. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> Worth it. Back to our regularly scheduled oh. podcast. Well. <laughs> so, okay. Other now, thing that we have this weekend is, or well, it's on Varsity TV, but you can watch it with your subscription. Is yep. NCA North Texas Classic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's the first time that it's being live streamed. Yeah. yeah. Which would be really exciting because yeah. lots of cheer athletics teams yeah. go to that mm -hmm. um, and it's an all-star competition so mm -hmm. there's going to be a good chance to kind of see people really compete for the first time because yeah. yes a showcase kind of gets your feet wet and you're performing yeah. but it's a different feeling when it's like you have you're on the warm-up mat you have this many right. minutes and like yeah you got to keep it moving and then and then go and you know you're being judged right so like that's a little bit of a different vibe so yeah, yeah. It's always good to go to a local. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, really excited. Excited. So, yeah, like Lindsay said, if you're a Flow Cheer subscriber, mm -hmm. you can watch any of the Varsity TV live stream competitions. So, you know what's really you cool? You know what too. I'm going to be doing. I think that it's exciting because it is like the first, <laughs> it's I, it's the first live streamed yeah. competition, too, which yeah. means that everybody can watch it no <laughs> matter where official. you are. It is official. It's like, season. yeah, it's, it's really started. It's literally happening. We're doing it right now. <laughs> We're really doing it. <laughs> Speaking of doing it, I work and finally talk about the thing that I tried to talk about earlier that I got in trouble for. I <laughs> Lindsay, was like, where are you going? I was really, <laughs> like, Don't I was like, I'm ready to do it. Yes. Because I, we were talking about Halloween costumes yes. and Lindsay oh found God. a really good one it's and I was awesome. very excited to talk about it. Okay. So as you guys may or may not know, my segment is at Lindsay. I want some theme music. My I segment come up with something is, I know, she has a theme song. I want a theme song. I know. Um, anyway. You came up with it, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> Someone make up a theme song for me. Anyway, um, okay, so my segment is at Lindsay, and I scour the internet for all the best and funniest, mostly cheerleading-related things. And in the spirit of Halloween, we found this incredible video from, uh, it's from the uh, Dallas office, the NCA office, they have oh, a very, gosh. very, very um, competitive costume contest every year for Halloween. And so this is the staffing team and um, they, do I need sound? No. Oh, it's awesome. They, <laughs> dressed as the greatest showman, 
yeah, they and it, have and the they greatest showman soundtrack going in the, the out. This is the greatest show song going in the background. Yeah. And then Kip it is so comes good. Out. Oh my god. And Tucker, then Hunter, Tucker comes out with Banner the dog in a lion costume. Favorite wild cat. <laughs> I love it. All the characters. It's so oh. good. It's so so good. So there's probably um what at least ten people. One, two, three, four, five, oh six, seven, god. eight, nine. Yeah, ten. Okay. There's ten people. Choreo. And then the they break out into Formations. actual choreography with yes. And <laughs> the it's the most Formations, appropriate, wonderful ripple, choreography. Like, there's like this Kip big dramatic pause. I, I know. <laughs> There's a he's ripple. Like, oh he's just like Hugh Jackman. <laughs> it's pretty good. I am so. I think this is the this. actual choreography, right? Leroy like, turned it the wrong right? way, but we're gonna let it. We're gonna let that go. It's okay, Leroy. Right, we so forgive you. <laughs> Get it together. Yeah. yeah. This costume contest. Like you know how months, serious it is. Like, I mean, look, they rolled out mats. They set up a thing for people to come out. Like. <laughs> And they have, like, they do a whole show. Yeah, like a literal show. First of all, this is exactly why I love cheerleaders. (laughs) Like, who goes full out with costumes, choreography, (laughs) transitions, I mean, yesterday you guys painted yourself gold. (laughs) I cheerleaders do not mess around. No, I live for it. I love. That was, I mean. It's just, it's perfect. It is so perfect. That was good. It's so great. <laughs> My favorite is the fact that Tucker came out with Banner. Oh, yeah. I know. Dressed up. Because you know Banner was so excited. Yes. Of Banner. course he wanted to be a Tucker's part of the show. Yeah. And he had like a lion's Literally cane just on. a lion's oh, cane. Tucker just said, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 Thanks, that Tucker. I oh, I got some great that. photos of Tucker at the Blue debut. So oh, I can't wait to share those. <laughs> can't wait. That's awesome. <laughs> he's, he's in the front for the dance this year. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yep. Yes. Oh my god, guys, we didn't even Showcase. talk about Wildcats. Oh. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. Should we can... talk about Wildcats really Yeah, quickly? no, I will say that um, <laughs> I. Oh, so man, when I and saw... we didn't talk about Swoosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys. Guys, we have all seasons. We're slacking. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> it's okay. um, but no, I, the one thing I will say about Wild, and I, you know, I told a lot of the, the athletes and the coaches, is that when I watched their practice in the morning, and then of course, you know, when they actually went during the Blue debut their routine this year is a completely different wildcats than yeah. anyone has ever seen like the just the choreography and the the again routine composition and right. um just like their 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 attitude it's just their, their swag their swag they it's it's completely mm. different and it's really new but it's also really like exciting it. and i a can't wait for them to get their music <laughs> And B, yeah. I can't wait to actually see them like compete on the mat in, in uniform and all that stuff because it, yeah. it was very interesting. And I liked it. It was a whole new whole new Wildcat. I know. I like. I think it's a really good thing every once in a while to just, just kind of like to bring a new in energy. Yeah, mm-hmm. revamp and just kind of like you know come yeah. with a whole new attitude. And I know they are very hungry. Yes. This year. So. Oh yes, absolutely. I Me can't too. wait. Thanks. And then also. I think if they say like cats take it back at the beginning when they set. Oh, oh so like, yes. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Yes. God, okay, yeah. cats. Go wild cats. I really love that oh, so much. Yeah. It's like the best thing in all star cheerleading is, is this. So like, it really is. It's the coolest. <laughs> like, it everybody it wishes, <laughs> everybody <laughs> wishes that they could do yeah. something this cool. Yeah. Like, it's very true. <laughs> sorry, you're not wild. Um, <laughs> and then swoosh cats. Swoosh cats. They're elite stun. Spun so many times. I, we were like, because I, I really lost I count. asked Michael, the coach, I was like, how many times do they spin in that elite? And he didn't give me an answer. And I'm like, I asked everyone. I'm like, but really, how many times? Because I needed to know. They spin nine times just in their elite. And then probably nine to 11 more times in their pyramid. And then, I mean, don't even count the, the tumbling and stuff. Like, I, I want to literally, like, Here's the thing. put a, a counter. I want to oh hold my a counter gosh, in my right? hand. Just, just in count the corner. How many like, spins because clock in the spins. It's just, it was just unreal. And, and we came up with a hashtag, <laughs> hashtag squeeze and spin, because that's literally yeah. all the flyers yeah. are doing. They're literally just squeezing, and the bases are just spinning them, and spinning them, and spinning them. It's so and cool. And guys, it is October. Exactly. Wait until they have a chance to, like, really oh clean that up and really perfect it and kind of, like, like yeah. get Seems that. Next level this year. It's, it's it amazing. was unreal. It's yeah, I just feel like every time, after every showcase, it's just, like, it's, they're all like building on top of each other, you know? Yeah. And it's, 
Oh, it's so exciting. With all this, everybody's so prepared. Are we going to see so more prepared. Hit Zeros, like, straight through yeah. the season? You know? I don't know. I hope so. I Maybe. Or I is that. or is it that they come out with this and they keep trying to upgrade and tweak and change and, and they're just kind of seeing what works yeah. and what doesn't? Well, I mean, if you look at the difficulty that they already have, like, yeah. how many more upgrades can I don't you know. make? <laughs> I know, but I say that every year, right? Right, and then, you know, and then the season happens, so I, I completely agree. By the way, Christy loves your shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, guys, we have we went off we went topic. On a I'm really glad we that was to. a great tangent, though. So I'm glad we did that. Um, but <laughs> now it's time for who, who won, won the week. week? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> So this week's it. nominations, we actually talked about one a little bit before earlier. Um, Champion Cheers, big reveal. Yes. Um, so obviously the way that they kind of shared that news and, and kind of created that family environment. Really and Yeah. Them donating a kidney. Yeah. It's just incredible. And like you said, that. like, yeah, exactly. it's, it's truly yeah. like, it's just such a special yeah. moment. And then like to make it to fold it into their showcase the way that they did. With the theme and, yeah. and why, like it's literally showing why they're doing this theme. Like yep. they're doing it for a reason and one of the things is like, this is exactly why. Yep. Yeah. And so, you know, I think to me at the end of the day, like this is what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's all about, yeah. um, you know, family and, and life in general and, yeah. and surrounding yourself with um, people that you love. Yeah, so, and Champion Cheer always does a really good job with that. Yeah. Like reminding the kids and the coaches and yep. the athletes and the parents. Absolutely. And then um, last but not least, is this, it is, oh wait. This the, is showcase themed? We have a little technical oh, sorry. difficulty. <laughs> not you. Oh, oh the no. The TV. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. <laughs> um, and then this is going up against a kind of classic who won the week moment. Um, this girl on Tree Athletics Bengals. I love it. They do a round off back handspring whip back tuck, but she whipped and I don't know if she like was like not rebounded a like bit. rebounded, yeah. but she oh. just bailed on the back tuck. But then she did not bail. She did it. Last she minute. took a baby jump oh. and did a back tuck. <laughs> But with no so arms, cute. did not set. She just went. I just went. I am. Well, Literally I'm impressed same. that y'all have been there because I have never done a back tuck without, <laughs> without <laughs> using my arms. Sometimes you just have to throw it over. Talk about maximum effort. This right. is exactly what right. your coaches wanted to showcase. Right. They're like, we don't want need you to hit. It doesn't need we to be need perfect. you to give you your best best yep. shot. Give me a hundred percent. This is a maximum effort, and it is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like. <laughs> That it is, is so she lands too. And like she, she lands. Goes, and she stands and sticks and stands and everything. Yes, hands down by your side. It's great. Truly like, I don't know if you could get scored for difficulty for that, but that's a probably <laughs> more difficult. <laughs> yes, um, probably. So anyways, really congratulations to her. Like, good job. You are oh. awesome. That is exactly like the work ethic and hustle that everybody needs. So um, big ups to you because that is super big ups. impressive. Love, we love the hustle. Yeah. So, um, this week, I can't even imagine a harder vote. It is against <laughs> Champion Cheer and Cheer Athletics Bengals, and it is up to you guys to pick who won the week. Yes. Love it. Good stuff. Great uh, stuff. Well, now. I'm not ready. I know. Okay. Okay, guys. We have news. We, we have news for you. <laughs> Jessica, take I it away. Have, I have news to share. So, this is my last podcast. Mm. I know it's weird. It's really sad. I know, I know. So, so yeah, my last my last day at Flow is yeah. today. Yeah. Fine. Go I'm for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm moving on to do new and different things. Very yeah. exciting things. And it, yeah, so it's a, it's a sad thing. Selfishly, mm -hmm. I <laughs> oh I gosh. am like devastated oh, because yeah. I feel like when you started here, we were two strangers and it was just us two. This was before we got like a team oh, yeah. and we like Hustling. became like, we power bonded <laughs> in a way that has probably never occurred on the planet earth before. Yeah. We, she's now like one of my closest friends and I'm just like so glad that this job brought yeah. us together. And I'm sad that you're leaving, but I also know like we're gonna be friends forever outside of this. So yeah. I'm gonna miss my event buddy very much. 
much, but and I'm excited <laughs> for the stuff <laughs> you're doing. Things, like yeah. you are gonna have, there's so much good yeah. stuff ahead for you. And you, Jess, I don't, I, I tell people this story all the time because oh, yeah. everyone's like, how did you get your job at Flow and everything? Oh, yeah. And I literally owe it to you because when the job posting came out, I messaged you and I was like, hey, do you think I'd be a good candidate? And she <laughs> was like, oh my gosh, yeah, apply. Come and on. so I'm literally here because of you. And That's I mean, sweet. there's literally no words that can describe how thankful I am oh. that you answered my message. <laughs> 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 Um, so yeah. we'll miss you. Um, yeah. I have so many things to say, but it's too hard to say them. Mm. <laughs> the cheerleading world is the best world. You yeah. Know, the community. I I grew up in the cheerleading world. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like I, you know, the sweaters and skirts. Yeah. Yep. There to, to NCA staff, and, mm -hmm. and I worked for NCA like marketing. Yeah. So I've never left cheerleading. Yeah. There to here. Yeah. You know, so this is gonna be my first time adventuring out into the wild. Well, here's exciting. the thing. I'm not letting you get that far away because yeah, I'm literally no. going to make sure that we hire her for like several events throughout you're the still, season. You're still on the payroll So, yeah. yeah. No, still, like, still you're around, you really <laughs> aren't getting away that easy. Yeah. So. You're going to try and leave and we're just going to yank your arm back in <laughs> as much as but, possible. But majors. I know. Right. <laughs> Hi. We need you. I know. But we're all so. Around, but yeah. Kind of some sadness today. Yeah. But sad but exciting stuff, so that's good. sad but exciting there I am exciting. listen there is there change is scary and this this new thing is going to be so different but like yeah. I know that the next phase for you you are going to go be, kill it it's oh, going to be amazing. awesome well, yeah. yeah and to all the young people out there you know yeah, cheerleading is going to teach you everything that you oh my gosh have. it's true and it's very true in, like in my personal life and in my work life I've you know, no one yeah. could ever outwork me. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know? true. You know, yeah. Like yeah. Your team, team building skills, teamwork skills, everything that you ever need to know, you can. It's very it true. We can all attest to that. <laughs> yes, we have the hardest working, like squad, squad for sure. Out of all the sports, <laughs> like it is cheer, definitely us. Will run circles around I mean, everybody. You can, you can try and argue, circles. but you yeah. probably shouldn't because we'll win the argument. We'll tuck check you too. <laughs> very true. <laughs> Um, That's so, all I've got. Well, oh, sad. Love you. It still hasn't sunk in for me. Well, you still live in Austin, so you also have to come back to yeah. the podcast sometimes. I know. Yeah. You ever need Just pop in. Y'all will see me Yeah. We will. Well. That's the end. That's it. That's it for this week. You want to sign us off or something? Ugh, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well, that's it for sad. our podcast, and we will see you guys next week. Bye.